Good morning, class. Yesterday, on day one of our paragraph writing this week, you should have finished a brainstorming sheet on your family's Thanksgiving. We talked about how you could talk about how your family's Thanksgiving is normally, or you could talk about how your COVID Thanksgiving went. I did not have anything close to normal for Thanksgiving this year, so I chose to put how our Thanksgiving normally goes. So with day two of writing, it's time for our hamburger outline. So we're going to take the information from our web and create a five sentence paragraph. So here's your hamburger outline. Again, if you don't have a printer, you can just draw this on a piece of paper. Now I'm going to take this information and I'm going to create a topic sentence. I'm going to pull three details and a closing sentence. Okay. The last paragraph we wrote, you were able to copy my topic sentence and my closing sentence, okay? This time, you may want to create your own topic and closing sentence. Just make sure your topic is what your whole paragraph is about, which is my family's Thanksgiving, and make sure your closing sentence is restating your topic sentence. So it's the same sentence, but maybe you rearrange the words or you set it a different way, okay? All right. So on my web, I talked about where we eat, who comes, what certain people do, when we eat, and what we do after we eat, right? Okay. All right, so I'm going to talk or wrap my um, topic sentence around the idea that this is my family's normal Thanksgiving, okay? So if you wrote about your COVID Thanksgiving, your topic sentence is going to be much different. Um, I really missed having regular Thanksgiving with my family this year. Okay, because that's true. I really miss having regular Thanksgiving with my family this year. And what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about regular Thanksgiving with my family. So it's right there in my topic sentence. Okay, now, I'm going to make this really easy, and I can actually go ahead and write my closing sentence before I even do my details. You don't have to do it this way. I just want you to really understand that your closing sentence is not another detail. Okay, I've had students in the past that start writing details, get lost in the idea of details, and make this a fourth detail. It's not a fourth detail. Okay, it should completely relate to the topic sentence. Okay, not one detail, not two details, the whole topic of the whole paragraph. So my closing sentence, I really missed having regular Thanksgiving with my family this year. My closing sentence needs to restate this idea. Okay. So what I'm going to say for my closing, since I'm my idea is regular Thanksgiving with my family, um, my closing then is going to be, I am hopeful that we will be able to have a regular Thanksgiving. with our family next year.
Okay, so now I have my topic sentence and my closing sentence done. Again, you don't have to write your closing sentence uh, at the beginning like this. However, I'm doing it because I just want to make it super clear that the closing sentence is not another detail, not at all. It's restating your topic. Your topic is regular Thanksgiving with your family. Okay, so I need to write three details. Hopefully you remember from our last paragraph writing that each detail should begin with a transition word. So I'm gonna go ahead and write in first, and then you should have a comma, next, and a comma, and last, and a comma. Now, those are not the only transition words, okay? You have a list of transition words I have given you before, and I have also included in your file today. You can choose different transition words. You don't have to use these, but you can use these. These are kind of the most basic of the transition words. But each, each detail sentence must have a transition word, okay? All right, so now I need to pull out three details that talk about the regular Thanksgiving with my family. <laughs> Let's see, maybe we talk about where we have it. So I would say my brother's family and my family meet at my parents' house for Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, I'm gonna have to write small. My brother's family and my family meet at our parents' house I didn't put around time, but I could do that. I would say we probably get there by noon. Okay. Next, let's talk about who makes what? Hmm. I could talk about, this is kind of hard to put into just three details. So I did this one and I did this one. So I could say my brother smokes the turkey, Chandra makes deviled eggs, my mom makes stuffing gravy and dessert, and I make a side. I could do that. Or I could say we eat around one o'clock after my dad says grace, and then talk about what we do after. Let's do that one. Next, we eat Thanksgiving dinner, which is kind of funny calling it dinner because we do eat it up around noon. We eat Thanksgiving dinner at one o'clock p.m. Comma, after my dad says grace. Okay. And then, so last, we visit and play a game before eating our Thanksgiving desserts.
Okay, so this is a really good example of how just because you write something on your web, don't feel like you have to squeeze it in here, okay? We're still only writing fi uh, five sentence paragraphs, so there may be some things that you can't squeeze in here. You don't wanna write run on sentences that go on and on and on forever, which I was concerned about doing if I tried to make a sentence about what everybody makes, okay? I, that just would be too much and it wouldn't be a really strong sentence. So now I have my three details that I chose on. Notice that they are in sequential order. So it's what happens first, then what happens next, and what happens last, okay? I didn't talk about desserts first, okay? Although I'm sure we would all like to eat our dessert first. That's not how it happens, okay? So I'm gonna read over it to make sure it sounds good, and then I'm going to send you on your way to write your own. Once again, please do not copy my paragraph, okay? These, this is about my family. I want to hear about your family. I really missed having regular Thanksgiving with my family this year. First, my brother's family and my family meet at our parents' house by noon. Next, we eat Thanksgiving dinner at 1 p.m. after my dad says grace. Last, we visit and play games before eating our Thanksgiving desserts. I am hopeful that we will be able to have a regular Thanksgiving with our family next year. Boom, done. All right. Good luck writing your um, hamburger outline. You've got this.